Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we are talking about how to back up the Evolution Mail client. So there are actually two ways to back up the Evolution Mail settings. So we're gonna go with the email client version first, and then we'll go with the terminal version if you want to go with the terminal version. My personal opinion, you should use the integrated backup system that Evolution has. It's quite useful and it basically does the same thing as the terminal. Only go with the terminal if you absolutely prefer it. But uh, to back up your stuff, just go to File and then Backup Evolution Data. Save it wherever you'd like to save it. And I'm going to click Save on the desktop. And uh, then we have our backup. So from here, the backup isn't done because if you watch my backup videos, you'll know that if anyone installs Evolution, they can just in, uh, restore this and get access to your email account. So to protect it, for if you upload it to Dropbox or whatever, you're going to need to uh, you get a terminal open here. You're going to need to encrypt it, and you can do that with GPG. And uh, to make sure you have GPG, just run this command here, and then if it works, you'll know that you can use it. From there, you want to go to where you saved your backup, in my case, the desktop, and then I just need to do gpg tax c uh, and then evolution. Enter my super secret password, uh, and then we have an encrypted backup, and then we can delete this backup. And uh, <clears throat> from there, if I go to try to restore it, say I try to restore the encrypted backup, it's not going to work. It'll say invalid backup file. And this is because it's safe, it's secure. And uh, if you want to restore a backup through the official system, what you would do is you would do GPG to de-encrypt it. Say you're on a new installation so you don't have your your uh, evolution settings. So let me close this really quick. So now if I open up Evolution, I shouldn't have an account. Okay, so now if we open it up, it'll say, do you want to restore your identity? So we can go back to the desktop, we can do GPG and the name of our backup, decrypt it, and then we can go to here, click Next, Restore from Backup File, select our backup, click Open, Next. It will restore our data exactly the way it was supposed to be restored, uh, you know, when they backed it up. It'll put all the files exactly where it's supposed to go. It may take a bit of time, uh, but once it's done, you'll see my email account is exactly the way it was before I deleted everything. So that is the official way to backup and restore. Really quick, really quick we're going to go over how to make an official backup with the terminal. Uh, an official terminal backup, I guess you could say, because <clears throat> they don't really advise you to do it. So I guess you can't say it's official, but I would call it official because it's doing the same thing. But uh, to do that, we need to go to, actually, we need to stay on the desktop. Let's clear these commands out of the way. So we need to create three folders. Let's start off by making the evolution mail backup folder. The second folder we can make is the config folder. That's a subfolder. All the stuff from the dot config folder will go in here. And then we'll make a local folder. And that's the same thing for user uh, dot local slash uh, share. And then from there, we can go ahead and copy the files in. So do a CPR, CP-R, or TAC-R, whatever you want to call it. And we'll move the files there. And if we open this up, we can look in the config folder and we can see all our evolution stuff is right here. And now we do the second one, same thing, in the local folder. All the stuff is there. Okay, now we create a tar archive of the backup and uh, this is kind of like how we created the backup in the first place with uh, the Evolution backup program, except this one is a manual backup. And the last thing we need to do is just to run an encryption. So gpg tax c evolution mail backup dot tar dot cheesy. Enter your password and uh, then we just delete these. Now I'm not going to show you how to restore this one because honestly I don't really recommend backing up in this way but also if you want to know how to restore your terminal backup go ahead and check the link in the description I have a detailed guide on how to do that but 
this is the end of the video. So I hope this was illuminating. I hope that you could understand how evolution and the backup system works. Definitely one of the best mail clients when it comes to saving your data. Anyways, guys, I have to get going, but I'll see you in the next video.